Right, it's Friday, April 17th, and this video I'm going to talk about how I made my toilet. So, my toilet was built in late August 2018, and the first thing I made for this toilet was the base of the toilet. So this is a bait, I mean, not the, the bowl, so this is the bowl, the plastic, I added that, um, before New Year's, and this is, so I started with the bowl, like, this bottom section, and then I cut this out, this plastic is temporarily, it's not gonna stay here forever, I might take it off, because I wanna just turn this back to its regular position, but, yeah, it's pretty good, and, so I just cut um, this out, this came from this part here, and then the, the uh, toilet lid and seat were made separately. I made that probably two months ago, no not two months ago, probably like around one year ago. Actually, I'm not sure when I made, yeah, probably, ago, probably it was a year. Um, the handle is not completely original, and I added this, um, um, this some um, uh I don't know and this thing here flange to hold the handle in place and I can't find the original handle but if I find it I will show it to you. Here is the um thing I made this box as well as the handle. I put this stick inside because this piece of cardboard was bending and here is the uh, mechanism. See, I had a, uh, this washer is not original because I lost the original washer, so I had to replace the handle is completely original since 2018. There is a hole you can put water, I could probably put water in the sink and just make it run through there, but it would be kind of risky because it might leak somewhere. And here is the bottom of the toilet. I made this uh, base. See, this thing's not original because. I originally wanted to put plastic on the inside up to here and I had to cut it and once I put it back together it wasn't um, strong enough because right now it's kind of strong it's really stiff moving on to this side I have a whole bunch of this is not original this is original this is straight but this is not straight so yeah let's take a look let's take a look at the back And yeah, here we go for that push pin. Let me just put this up here. See, this is the toilet seat. And these, yeah, this, I had a stick that went, these um, move up and down and pivot in one single stick. But the problem is, um, it, it teared out. And this is the way. Okay, let's move on to. This part here, this is the back of the thing here, see, and yeah, there's the back, and here are the things, the two side pieces to support it from the back, and here's the inside, let me just turn this more this way, because I'm standing right on the toilet, the reason I put tape there is because when water leaks, I can see where where it came from and where it went to. Because if I didn't have this tape, I didn't know where where the water went or where it came from. And here's your mechanism. This mechanism was supposed to... This thing was supposed to go in through here. Yeah, it just doesn't work. Here's the inside. Here's the inside of the toilet. See, you can see like the this the thing, the flapper. Yeah, I'm not sure if you can see the other side. But you cannot really see because it's kind quite snug in there. And this here's the front. Here's a flange, the toilet flange. And this plastic, I didn't completely attach it just so that I can have access to it. And look what I found. I found an Easter egg. Hmm. It's surprising me. I'm just gonna put that in here. 
Yeah, so I built this all the way back in 2018, and I had to remodel it in 2000, probably like 2000, uh, 2019, probably before I went to school, like July and August, but, um, yeah, here's one more look on the inside, it's had a, oh, it looks like some of the water went through, or I'm not sure what that is, because, you can see different colors in the cardboard, or just, that could be just the, um, the tape, that, the, because I used to have that white, black tape, and I got it from the other tree. Yeah, way, way, way over here. I'm trying to have to tilt the camera like this, because, oh, vertical, because, oh, you can see a camera, that's why I used to put my handy cam. Up there. Yeah, so that I can record. I said we're not gonna be able to show at the very bottom because um it's just gonna be here's a view. The door, yeah. So the door used to close all the way from here and it's had a white in it so I can fit the big Easter eggs and it used to go all the way down here but I had to cover it up so that there was more support on the bottom. Here's a tape. This is where the toilets. Um, my stuff were originally over here last year, probably before February. Um, fourteen. Yeah, and the toilet was right here, and the sink was in here. The urinal was over here. But after we got this um floor replaced, my stuff were over there in that corner. Actually, they were in my sister's room. Yeah. Here's a view of the toilet. And, yeah, so. If you guys want to make this toilet, just comment down below. I don't have plans for this toilet. But I can show you how to make it. Let me just put this some push pin back. I'm not sure if I will have enough memory, but um, if I don't have enough memory, I will cut it and then save it for. I upload some videos. There it is. It's a full look at the toilet. Here yeah, I will show you the inside of the hole. See, there's a flapper. It doesn't close good because the plastic is is making it thicker. But um, I try making it less thick. But here's the seat. Here's the ladder. There's a toilet seat. And um, yeah, I wasn't. I would probably use this as a in the restroom, but only if, it, if it's an emergency. This is the last view of the toilet. Oh, let's show the bottom. The bottom of the toilet. Let's see. Yeah, you can see. This is what look like a stainless steel toilet. Well, they have the mountain brackets we're connected to here into the ground. Next, my sink. So I built this sink way back in, uh, I built this sink in two th early 2020 with this lid here too, so it doesn't get wet. Yeah, it's just with a piece of cardboard and a piece of plastic water bottle. I put that just in case it leaks from here and then water can go down. This is a gallon, I, I, um, I, um, uh, how do you call it? I modified this because I wanted to open it like that because I'm going to put a dryer there. Just a plastic shampoo bottle. And this just goes on top of here and with this um, uh, thing goes in here. Here's the inside. Here's the bottom of the sink. I added this plastic here just in case water drips down. And the problem is this plastic won't last here because it was leaking through here and it went into the cardboard. Here's the faucet. And all you have to do is lift this up, open it, and there we go. I just put a um a plastic water bottle um, water bottle cup there and a piece of tape just so that um just in case we drop something and then the what it won't go down. It doesn't go down. Yeah so here it is. This is a um thing, a box that I got at Sam's Club. 
Normally I would have cut cut these off diagonally that we're gonna have more space inside, but they were not gonna get that much support and I'm not gonna so I'm gonna have anything to put things on top of the sink. And here's the thing to put the things like the restroom cabinet, like the mirror. I just need a mirror and a shower. But unfortunately, I cannot fit a, I cannot fit a shower in here. Move on to the cabinet of the sink. This cabinet, someone gave me this box, and um, oh, unfortunately.